On this week's boiler tip, we're going to talk about devices that aid in heat transfer and how leaving them out can be a problem. If we have a boiler and we have the tubes replaced, whether it's a fire tube boiler or a water tube boiler, what we expect when that job is done is for our stack temperature to be probably lower than it was before we had the job done because we don't have tubes that have deposits on them and, and stuff like that. So if we get an unusually high stack temperature right after a tube job, we're going to be a little concerned. Uh, a couple reasons that that can occur. Um, one is, was everything put back that was taken out? And I don't mean the old tubes, obviously we're replacing those. But in a water tube boiler, in many cases there are diverter or baffle plates that force the flue gas through a more roundabout path through the boiler to give us more residency time and better heat transfer. In a fire tube boiler, um, in many cases, we'll actually have turbulators or devices that are designed to mix the flue gas as we get to the end of the tube to enhance heat transfer. So if I had a boiler retubed and I had a higher stack temperature after it was done, I'd want to make sure that that stuff was put back in.